Tesla Project Roadrunner, where Tesla is testing and working on his new batteries, this construction speeds ahead as battery day nears on September 22. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you would like to receive daily Tesla news, please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story later today. In the past, we have talked a lot about Tesla Giga Berlin's astonishing speed and we have compared it to Tesla Giga China, especially with the second phase of Giga China, uh, uh, Giga Factory Shanghai, Giga Shanghai. And uh, Giga Shanghai's first phase uh, was finished in 11 months and we have learned that Tesla Giga Berlin will undercut that, uh, that speed, that Elon Musk wants to undercut that speed and we are astonished uh, by, uh, uh, we are amazed by the astonishing speed of Giga Shanghai phase 2 where they're already putting internal work and the uh, test uh, model Y will soon come out. But there is another project that Tesla is doing besides Tesla Giga Berlin, Giga Shanghai and Giga Texas, the Roadrunner project. And we have a report today from the Tasmanian. Our friend Eva Fox is reporting that Tesla project Roadrunner construction speeds ahead as battery day nears. Um, Eva writes at Tesmanian.com that Tesla set up a pilot battery cell line in Fremont where they secretly designed and tested manufacturing equipment and processes. At the end of June, it became known that this line, this battery uh, production cell, battery cell production line, uh, that this line would be expanded to produce more battery cells. The company's secret project was named Roadrunner. The company Tesla needed to increase the space inside the building by rebuilding and refurbishing its internal space. According to Tesla, these changes were necessary in order to accommodate new equipment to produce batteries for the Roadrunner project. The undertaking includes adding a third floor above the 47,700 Cato Road building. Okay, 47700 Cato Road Reading. That's the address which is just next door to Tesla's Fremont factory. The building at 1055 Page Road will um, also um, be slightly modified. This building will be used to host additional production and research and development operations supporting Roadrunner, including a portion of cathode electrode manufacturing and the final processing step in battery cell manufacturing. Battery day is quickly approaching and takes place on September 22nd. Tesla is expected to showcase its achievements in battery cell development and take a tour of the production line. As such, it is not surprising the company is actively working on construction. I don't know if Tesla is inviting media for this battery day, especially I'm very much interested in the tour that Tesla is going to give uh, the stockholders and those who probably will come to the event. But if Tesla invites, we would be very much interested to go there because I live in North Carolina and it's a long distance, but we would, look, we would be very much interested to go there. And guys, if any one of you will be in this meeting and you would like to take some videos, if Tesla allows or pictures, please send it my way. Although I'm sure there will be live presentation as well. So um, uh, keep an eye on our channel. I will be reporting um, on September 22nd and 23rd heavily on uh, Tesla stockholder meeting and what is happening at battery day, especially that we're expecting the showcase, Tesla showcasing its achievement in battery cell development and take a tour of the production line. Um, now, the, the, the drone footage that Tesmanian is showing shows construction is progressing at a rapid pace. Construction of the building uh, of the uh, Roadrunner project. The new building plan on Cato Road calls for the, additional of, uh, for the addition of space on the second floor, approximately uh, 21,485 square feet, and the construction on additional smaller, approximately 8,260 square foot, third floor above. So you can see it's, it's growing very well. You can see from the green area that active construction is, is going there. And uh, I'm sure uh, today is that there are still 12 days. It would be interesting to see what Tesla 
will complete in the next 12 days to make this area to make this building presentable for people who are coming to the stockholder meeting on september 22nd and who are coming especially for the battery day because tesla is expected to make some very important battery announcements on that day which we will talk about a little bit later now this the building at 1055 page page road will also be significantly modified this building will be used to host additional production and research and development operations supporting Roadrunner including a portion of cathode electrode manufacturing and the final process step in battery cell manufacturing. Maxwell the company that Tesla acquired has long been working on a test production line a new relatively inexpensive production line capable of eliminating the bottleneck in battery production. This is exactly what Tesla is aiming to achieve. Uh, Eva Fox at testmania.com also says that Tesla's main goal right now is not necessarily to improve the battery in terms of range, although that may be possible, but to achieve the production of large quantities of the same batteries much more quickly and at less cost. After all, production speed and cost are some of the biggest constraints at the company's growth, at Tesla's growth. Now, we know that Tesla has battery partnership with Panasonic, where Tesla is making batteries at its uh, Giga Nevada factory, Giga factory in Nevada. Uh, Tesla in China has battery partnerships with Cattle, LG Chem, and if I'm not mistaken, SK Innovation, but I'm not sure about SK Innovations. If you guys know for sure, please let me know in the comment section below. Tesla obviously would like is, is smartly um, doing its own battery research with after acquiring Maxwell and uh, is trying to see if it can produce more batteries and, uh, and whichever are the best batteries, more be best batteries for its cars will be used in its cars. So if Tesla is able to make better batteries at Cato Road with Maxwell, um, uh, Tesla will probably use them in its cars worldwide if no it will continue using uh, a cattle uh, panasonic and lg cam batteries um, also what we're looking for is will a lot will depend on what type of announcement tesla will make in uh, at the uh, battery day event on september 22nd um, what will be the cost of the battery per kilowatt hour if it's less than 100 dollars per kilowatt hour that means making electric cars car will be less uh, will be more efficient and more beneficial than making gas cars because making electric cars will be less costly and that will be the end of electric uh, of gas cars and everybody in the industry still understand that and also how fast can these new batteries be charged and um, all these types of things and also what batteries model y will be using at uh, uh, in the uh, will, what happens to the million mile batteries that tesla was talking in the past so a lot of good questions and you may even uh, be able to add some other questions in the comment section below um let's talk about that and look at this in the meantime the astonish uh, the the speed of construction at uh, tesla's small factory uh, roadrunner project at kado road uh, to produce batteries cells is very uh, amazing astonishing quick and we will see what happens in 12 days in the meantime friends this is armin harian from talknews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell uh, so you don't miss my next tesla story god bless you take good care of each other and uh, i'll see you soon in our next story peace be with all of you